Hey, 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 everyone. How are you doing? It is Black Women Are in the Building. How is everyone doing this Thursday night? I hope all is well. So before I begin, everything said is alleged and in my opinion, and for entertainment and fair use purposes only. Now let's get into it. So I know a lot of you seen that I was going to go live, but I decided against it because um, some of my favorite content creators were going live and they were doing interviews and stuff. And I don't like to take away from other people's channels, you know, so um, and even though I am a small content creator, I do like to watch their videos and stuff. So I let them rock and, you know, then I'll come on, you know, at a later time or a later date. So, y'all, first I want to talk about, excuse me, first I want to talk about um, something I said in my head and about how I be having the happy cry when I be looking at some of these YouTube, not YouTube, some of these IG content creators, you know, and videos and stuff that they be putting online. And it's this one guy. Not only is he very easy on the eyes, he is in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and he um, is a principal of a school, right? And his name is Uncle Arnold, but he spells Uncle U-N-K-L-E. And if you're not following his page on IG, I suggest you do it. It's Uncle, U-N-K-L-E, Arnold, A-R-N-O-L-D. When I tell you, sometimes if I need to pick me up, I go to his page and just to see his interaction with the children. I mean, not only professional, but loving. Like, you can tell he loves these children and you can tell that they genuinely like it's not staged, that they genuinely love him back. And what's so crazy about it is you can tell that this is a normal occurrence at his school because the other administrators and stuff, they just looking at it like, okay, you know, another day as usual, like he'll walk in and the kids will see him and come running to him and he'll drop his stuff and start dancing with them. And the administrators are looking like, oh, that's Arnold and one of the kids. So you can tell that it's genuine. But when I tell you, I'm, sometimes I'm so emotional and I will look at his videos and will bust out crying. <laughs> because that's how, that's how much they touch me. That's how loving his videos are. So again, if y'all on IG, go follow Uncle Arnold, U-N-K-L-E Arnold. Hold on one moment, y'all. Okay, so now another thing. So I see that our girl Money Making Mail is on a girl's trip. And baby, I love it. First of all, I was watching the video of Mel getting her hair done. And the natural hairstylist in me. And I told you, I've been doing it for over 30 years. The natural hairstylist in me was screaming, no, don't use them. Don't use them scissors to trim. You may be trimming her hair. Don't do it. But I bust out laughing, you know. And um, then I seen that Mel said that her hair starts to, you know, like it seemed like it was kind of itching. And <clears throat> um, I think that's from, well, I know that that's from the chemicals that they put on the hair. Um that we use the braid in here, the synthetic hair, that is the chemicals. And a way to anybody that's listening, a way to get the chemicals out is take the hair out the pack, keep it braided. Don't, if the hair come braided or whatever, but keep it on the rubber band or whatever it's attached to. Get some apple cider vinegar, take some water, put it in a bowl, put it in whatever, your tub or whatever, fill it up, pour some apple cider vinegar in there, leave it for like 20 minutes. You'll see the film coming up off of the hair once the film comes up off the hair rinse the hair out you can wash it put your shampoo conditioner in it dip it up and down rinse it out and hang it up <clears throat> and it's the film that i think irritates 
a lot of our scalps and stuff. But Mel here came out cute and she is on a girl's trip. Now, this is my thing. I want y'all to use y'all. Listen, Mel always says critical thinkers, critical thinkers, critical thinkers. Use your critical thinking skills, right? We already know that Mel is not dealing with these people like that. She is filming. She is filming. They're on a girl's trip. She is filming for the show. They have to be together to film. Cordial. Many of us work with people that we cannot stand. I know I do. I do have to be cordial though for my coin. I have to be cordial so that I can get my paycheck at the end of the week. Simple as that. There is no big news. There is nothing more to it. Trust me, allegedly, and in my opinion, they are filming. Mel is being cordial with her coworkers. But you know what I love? I love the fact that Dr. Shanita and Lauren is there. And I think they said Dawn Michelle is there. I love the fact that they are there with Mel because now after filming, Mel has some real girlfriends who are not in competition with her, who are not jealous of her, who absolutely have her back and love her. She has real girlfriends with her where she can enjoy the Virgin Islands where she can have fun after filming and what's so crazy is you know i seen that uh little snippet that stormy did she did that on purpose just to let you know oh mel is here but she did it i think like in a way allegedly in my opinion to make it seem like oh we this and we that together no y'all not stormy nobody is dumb like mel said people and their mothers doing the things that your mother and y'all was doing she's not checking for that so again, y'all, this is no big thing. Mel is at work. Mel is at work. And cut. Now she can go and hang with her real friends, the ones that really have her back, and enjoy the Virgin Islands until it's time to film with these other ladies again. So I love it. I love it. I love it. Now, I noticed that Sonny was there. And this is where I say I smell the mess. And hopefully they try not to, because listen, they have tried to twist Mel every way but loose. They tried to put her in every and anything that would be damaging to her image and to her brand. And I don't like that. And I don't really know how I feel about this. Um, sunny situation but i really 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 hope they don't try to intertwine this into making it seem like mel is messy boots and she even though these ladies the other ladies have done some real messy treacherous hateful things to mel mel is not like that so i hope knowing carlos I hope that he doesn't try to intertwine what is going on with Sonny, Moses, and Destiny, or whatever went on with them, try to intertwine that with Mel. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know how I feel about this girl being on the show, because why is she on the show? Where is the black excellence? Can we see the black excellence? Because I'm getting tired of this loving hip-hop or bad girls club narrative for love and marriage Huntsville when we are supposed to be seeing black excellence. Come on now. Come on now. I don't want to see Sonny. I don't want to see Moses. I don't want to see how they got together. I don't want to see none of that. I want to see some building. Can I see male building? Can I see more of seventh Avenue? Can I see a uh, male talking to the youth? Can I see Mel giving her motivational speeches? These are the things that I want to see. Can we see Nell Fletcher and her day-to-day -day in the daycare? Can we see Chris selling some homes? Because we know the other people ain't got nothing going on. I don't want to see Stormy and that uh, white labeled stuff. L listen, we I, I, I don't have time for it. And I really have a funny feeling that this Sonny and Moses thing is going to be a bunch of mess. 
and we're going to have somebody else coming at mail. I may be wrong and I hope I'm wrong. But again, I don't I I I don't want to see it. I really don't want to see it. It's not mm -mm, mm -mm, I don't I don't. I just smell mess brewing. I smell the mess brew wing and it's typical Carlos King. Typical. Typical. But um another thing too. You know, I see, you know, Wanda uh, uh, typical Wanda, but I have made a vow to myself that I will not give the non-factors any shine, the non-factors. And we know who the non-factors are. We know the, the non-factors is Gated Community Mouth, Wilding, as De Silva calls her, all of them. They will get no shine over here. You know, I don't care what anybody else does. You know, I watch my favorites um content but they will get no shine over here over here i will be highlighting melodies <clears throat> accomplishments i will be highlighting things that other ladies in the media is doing i we will be talking about different books we'll be coming up here for ladies nights on saturdays which will be at 5 45 p.m if i have to push it back on any saturday i will let y'all know or y'all can look on the heading and y'all will see that it was pushed back we will be dig deep deep diving into shawnita's world we will be talking about more things that is happening on nubion tv but we will be talking about everything that has nothing to do with the scammers I, I don't want to talk about them. I will not be giving them any shine. I will no, none of them, none of them. All right. But again, y'all, I just hope that it is not a whole bunch of mess brewing. But I have a funny feeling because, like I said, they couldn't turn Mel. They couldn't defeat her. They couldn't make her look bad in our eyes. So they are going to try everything possible and i think this sunny adding her to the cast is the last resort and that is crazy and you know what i didn't see kiki and it's crazy because if kiki lost her job she has no one to blame but herself she has no one to blame but herself. Now, do I think she was the only one talking about the show and giving that content creator little dips about the show? No. No, I do not. And I think it's still people up there that is telling him stuff about the show, especially Hotel, because if you fire Kiki for telling stuff about the show, then why is Hotel still there? Because he tells Gated Community Mouth everything. He tells her everything about the show and what's going on behind the scenes and all that. But y'all still got him up there. So what's really good? However, Kiki did it to herself. And I don't feel bad for her. I don't feel bad for her. Because Kiki had it going on, believe me or not. And she was ready to be a fan favorite. Everybody, She was going to be the fan favorite right behind Melody. Everybody was loving her. I was rooting for her. Everybody was waiting for Kiki to bust out. And when you finally get your chance, you already know how your family feel about you. But when you finally get your chance, you fall right into their trap. And now you are where they want you to be, sitting on your couch watching the show instead of being on the show, allegedly and in my opinion. So I do hope that kiki is back i hope she's just you know chilling out getting everything together knowing how she has to move forward but if she's not on the show she can't blame anyone but herself because she let she let this happen she let this happen i don't see how she put all her trust into a blogger who is about nothing but mess strife and just plain ignorance how she do that i do not know but we'll see y'all because the show is coming back um friday night is shawnita's world 
So we have to watch that. Um, Love and Maverick Hunt's film will be back. I don't know about the other franchises, but it seems like your boy is going down. But he's going down because God don't like ugly. And you will reap what you sow. So anyway, I love y'all. Y'all take care. I will see y'all Saturday for Ladies Night. If something comes up, I will definitely let y'all know ahead of time. But everyone have a blessed evening. Bye.